so we have two expressions that we are to simplify and we, we have a hint we should use exponential notation to simplify the expressions given this involves so first of all we're going to use this rule to transform these expressions into purely exponential form and then we're all we are going to use rules of exponentiation to reduce it all just to just one exponent and then we are going to go back. We have two expressions multiplied here. x to the 7th power, 9th root of 8 is x to the, and then the exponent goes up and the radical, the root number is the denominator. So 9th root of x to the 7th is the same as x to the power of 7 over 9. And that is being multiplied by x to the one fourth, right? That no exponent is an invisible exponent of one. After this translation, we're going to use this basic rule of exponentiation to get x to the power of seven over nine plus one over four. Okay, so the common denominator between nine and four is 36. Nine to 36, that was multiplication by four. Seven times four is 28. 4 to 36, that was multiplication by 9. 1 times 9 is 9. So we have x to the power of 37 over 36, which is the same as, again, the number of stairs is how we go up. So 37 is the exponent, and the number in the denominator is how we take the roots. This is the final answer. So in part one, if we compare part one and two, and of course the two problems are using the same numbers just to confuse us, but one big difference is that here we have x to the something times x to the something. Here what we have is repeated operation to the same thing. So x to the seven, first we take the ninth root of it, and then we take the fourth root of it. x to the seventh and ninth root of it is the same as x to the power of seven over nine. You're not going to need this intermediate uh, step, but... And then we take the fourth root of it, which is the same as raising it to the power of 1 over 4, right? So taking the fourth root of something is the same as taking its 1 fourth power. And now we're going to use this rule to simplify the exponent. So we just multiply the two numbers. There is no cancellation. So we get x to the 7 over 36, which is the same as... 7 is the exponent, and then 36 is the root. So it's 36th root of x to the 7th. Okay, this one is a little bit more complicated. Let's translate this expression. So we will be able to do this all in one step. x to the 3rd power, 5th root of 8, is the same as x to the 3 over 5. And then it's getting multiplied by x squared. Now all we have to do is take the 3rd root of all of it, and taking the 3rd root is the same as raising it to the to the power of one third so this is our translation here x square square fifth root of x cubed is the three over five and third root is another exponent of one over three and the fact that this radical sign stretches over this uh, entire expression is what i call an invisible parenthesis okay so we're just going to add the exponents and then multiply using the usual rules first this rule and then this rule Notice that 2 is the same as 10 over 5, so we're adding 10 over 5 plus 3 over 5, that's 13 over 5, and that whole thing is raised to the 1 third power, which means we multiply the exponents using this rule, so we get x to the power of 13 over 15, and that's the same as x to the 13th power, and then take the 15th root of that. And that's our final answer. Thank you for watching.